lot of stories in the news you can learn from, right? Well, this one is one of those. A rare tragedy in Michigan many of us need to listen to. A teenager's dead. More than a dozen, a dozen others went to the hospital over the weekend after they were found unconscious at an indoor hotel pool. First responders think this was carbon monoxide poisoning from a faulty pool heater. A housekeeper at the hotel rushed to try and help them, winds up inhaling too much herself. To me, they looked like they was dead laying there. I tried to soothe them and comfort them, but that was all I could do until I got sick myself. Here's the NAS Nicole Grigg with the appliances that could do the very same thing inside your home. Carbon monoxide, known as the silent killer, because you can't smell it and you can't see it. We know a lot of you are renting or you may not know if you have gas or electric. Well, the best way to know is if your appliance plugs into an outlet, then it's electric. But around one in 10 people here in Florida use natural gas. That means any appliance that burns fuel can put off carbon monoxide. The most common things, your water heater, clothes dryer or stove. Seco People's Gas is big on educating people about CO safety. Since you can't smell it, they put an odor in their gas to help give people a warning sign of a possible leak. Each year, they send out these scratch and sniff flyers so you can know the smell to be aware of. Let's go ahead and scratch it. Oh boy, it smells funky. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you can really... Mm -hmm. It has that rotten egg smell. Mm, exactly. It smells like sulfur or rotten eggs. The best way to alert you, one of these CO detectors, around $14 to $30 on each level of your home. Tampa Fire and Rescue says to keep it near the room where you sleep, but don't put it on your ceiling. They recommend that anywhere from knee level to about 10 or 12 inches from the ceiling is ideal. If you use gas appliances and think you have a leak, Tico makes safety calls daily to check concerning CO levels. For the now, I'm Nicole Grigg.